Hello and welcome back to another video. It's Jennifer. Today I have a technique that I've done in videos before where I put glitter on die cuts, but I wanted to go ahead and share this again for two reasons. One is it's really quick and easy to do and the results are great. And number two is I did a card a couple weeks ago with this exact same die, so I wanted to show you another way you could do it so you can stretch your products a little further. So let's go ahead and dive into this card. It's so easy. I'm using some Be Creative double-sided tape and I'm taking one side of the release paper off and setting it aside. I'm going to use that in a moment. I'm going to stick this onto some regular white cardstock. Now if you don't have sheets of double-sided tape like this, any kind of tape roll like this would work. You just line the pieces up in rows and cover enough of the area for the die to fit into. So I'm going to take this die from Simon Says Stamp and lay it face down onto the side of my paper that has the tape on it. I'm going to put a little piece of sticky tape to hold it in place as I run it through my Big Shot as I would any normal wafer thin die. And you can do this on any kind of die cut machine. You don't want to use any shims for this because look at we don't want this die to completely cut through those two layers. We want it to stay intact. So if it looks like this you're good to go. Don't worry about it. And if parts of it cut through that's okay too. So let's go ahead and add the glitter. I've got lots of different colors here. This is so easy to do. So I have the side with the release paper here. I'm going to take my craft knife and just remove the release paper from the outline of the butterfly. So the die cut through this release paper so it peels off really easily. And now I'm revealing just the stickiness around the outside of the butterfly. So I'm going to go ahead and add some Glitter Ritz glitter to the outside here. Now this glitter is one of my favorites. I like this and the Ranger glitters because they're super, super fine. And this ends up giving you like a uh, velvety feel as opposed to like a really loud glitter feel. Now I'm taking that release paper from before, putting it down and rubbing over this with my bone folder to really press that glitter into the sticky tape. The reason I'm putting my um, that extra piece of release paper down first is so that I don't mess up any of the butterflies there. Now I went ahead and cut up a Swiffer dusting cloth. Just one Swiffer dust dusting cloth into a bunch of pieces. I'm going to use one every time to clean up my work surface or clean up my paper. It's a great way to handle the glitter. So now I'm going to go ahead and remove a few of the butterfly release papers here just so that I have three butterflies showing and add glitter to that. So again that Swiffer dusting cloth, I just cut one up into six pieces and I can go back and really quickly clean up all the glitter. It is so helpful to prevent that glitter from getting everywhere. So I really recommend having some kind of dusting cloth to clean it up. Now this time I'm just going to try to be careful and not put down that release paper over it. And I'm just being careful and rubbing firmly over the glitter with my bone folder just so I press it in really well. Now watch, I've got another little tiny piece of Swiffer cloth. You don't need much. I'll link to Swiffer, by the way, below. And watch how easy that just cleans off all the excess glitter. And then I can just pitch that little piece. I mean, this is a tiny little piece, and it does the trick. So there we have our first two colors down of glitter. So now I'm going to remove a couple more and put down like a silvery color of glitter. Now again, you can use any kind of glitter that you want here, but I decided to use these because they're super fine and give that velvety feel. So I'm going to go ahead in again and burnish this down, and you'll notice I got a little pink piece of pink fuzz in there somehow. I'm not really sure how I managed to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and wipe it off, and then I'm going to go in with a craft knife or with my fingernail and just kind of pick um, that little piece of fuzz off there, add some more glitter in in case I knock some off, and then rub that in again. So. You can really uh, easily add glitter to this double-sided tape and it kind of presses into it so you don't have to worry about it coming off. So for the last two butterflies, I'm adding like a soft gold color here. I'll have all the colors of glitter linked below in my YouTube description and on my blog. So I'm going to go ahead and rub that in and then wipe this off with my Swiffer sheet. Now I could re remove the rest of the release paper and have a background of glitter too, but I decided I wanted to have these butterflies kind of floating on a regular card. So this was kind of an afterthought. I decided to go ahead and cut around the outside. This is a little bit of fussy cutting, but it really doesn't take long because remember that the die has already pressed into the paper, so your scissors really just kind of follow along with the edge of the die cutting. So once I've cut that all the way around, you could see the white cardstock on the outside trim, and I didn't want to see that. So I'm going in with a dark gray Copic marker that matches that glitter that I have on the outside edge, and I'm just coloring the edges so that you don't see that white edge. So you could use any marker or colored pencil or anything for this, but it really makes a big difference in giving it a nice finished look. So now there's the back. It looks kind of bad because of my marker, but that's okay. I'm using some really tiny pieces of my favorite clear dimensional adhesive, and I'm going to stick 
just little pieces randomly on the back here. You could use white by all means here. I don't know. I just decided to use the clear. And I'm adding that to a white card. I want to make sure I have enough room for the sentiment here. This is a stamp set from Simon Says Stamp and Mama Elephant. So I wanted to, I could have done this sentiment in black, but I decided that it would be good to have a metallic feel to kind of go with all the glitter we have going on. So I'm going to stamp this with Versamark ink, press it down well, and then add some Ranger liquid platinum embossing powder. I like this because it's a warm silver, and I thought it would go nicely with that glitter. So you can see here as I turn the card that that glitter isn't super, super glittery. It's nice and subtle. So if you're one who doesn't love glitter, this might be a better option for you. It just adds a little bit of fun to this card that is otherwise very simple. Now, in this card, I showed you how to put in some uh, glitter onto your die cutting, but I used this exact same die a few weeks ago here on my um, YouTube channel, and here's the card that I created with it. Completely different. I created a window in the front of the card, and then on the butterflies, I mixed some embossing powder. So you can click here if you want to see that card in action. So if you're interested in any of these products, everything's linked below in my YouTube description. If you head over to my blog, I have much more information there along with links to other projects. Thanks so much for stopping by and I hope to see you again in a future video.